Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. Welcome to the first day of the Month of Machine. In this video, we're going to introduce you to the hardware and software that comes with Machine. The hardware and software work hand in hand with each other. Pretty much everything that you can do in the software, you can also do on the hardware. Now the software is kind of divided into three sections. The interface is almost like Ableton Live if you're familiar with that. So you have three sections. You have one for browsing, one for arranging, and one for editing. So on the left side, we have the library. This is where you're going to add all of your kits, your samples, and instruments. On the top, we have what would be our arrangement. This is where you can arrange scenes to create songs. The bottom section is for editing, and this is where you're going to be able to edit all of your patterns. If you're brand new to the software and you kind of want to get a feel for it, my suggestion would be to start with a preset kit or project, and then rearrange the elements or samples in the presets before creating your own. Let's take a look at how you can load a kit. Remember that you can do this in either the software or the hardware. Let's do it on the hardware. Right now we're in control mode, which you can see up at the top, and then we're going to select browse. Now we are able to access all of the browse functions. We're going to want to make sure that we have group selected rather than master or sound. And then we are going to adjust our different parameters. Right now we have our filter set to group. Then we are going to change our bank to kit. We'll change the type to analog kit. And now on our right panel, we have all of the different analog kits. One thing that's important to know is that there is a button here second from the right, and that is for whether you want to load your kit with a pattern or not. If you just want to play around with the samples in a particular kit, you might want to press this button to disable loading with the pattern. So let's take a look at what that would look like if we loaded up this kit, which we can do by simply clicking the button on the right. Now we have a new loaded kit. This is an 808 kit, and it has all 16 pads filled up with different samples. You can hit them now. And you'll hear that they play as soon as you hit them. That's great. Now we can go along and start adding different patterns. But what if we want to check out what a pattern might be that comes with it? Well, let's take a look. Let's say we want to do a 909 kit. Then we can select the pattern on. We'll click this, and then we'll hit load. Give it a second, and now you can see that we have a pattern that machine will run through that comes with the software. This is great if you want to get some inspiration and kind of see what kind of patterns you might want to create. But what if you want to go beyond just drum kits and want to see all of the features that machine has to offer? Easiest way to do this is to add an actual preset project. Right now, we are still in the browse mode and we are on group. What we want to do is go to master. Once we go to the master section, we now have the ability to browse through different projects. So we're going to go ahead and narrow it down to find one that we want. So go and use this knob, go through the different banks. So right now we're on NI projects. Then we will go down to Wasted Youth. Let's load that one. Here we are on the Wasted Youth project. You can see that there's a lot more than just the preset kit that we loaded before. Now we have multiple kits, multiple scenes, and multiple instruments. If you want, we can go through the different groups, in fact, and see all of the different patterns that are created. You can go ahead and rearrange any of the elements that you want. So if you want to mess around with them, you can get out of the browse mode and then you can either play different parts or you can go into the step sequencer mode and start adding different steps. You'd be surprised just how much you can do with Native Instruments Machine. We're really just going to be scratching the surface throughout this month. 
Stay tuned for our next video on May 3rd, where we look at the basics of setting up your audio sound card. And follow The Month of Machine on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Don't forget that you can watch all of our video tutorials, reviews, and how-tos at thedjpodcast.com.